more knitting things. Today I'm planning on starting, probably not finishing, a headscarf. Um, I talked about it in my only video. <laughs> Um, my little podcast, I was really antsy. I really wanted to cast on something. I was thinking about casting on the Golden Oak tank. I decided I really needed to finish my husband's sweater. So I needed to keep that my main project, his halibut sweater by Caitlin Hunter. So if I cast it on the Golden Oak tank top, it would 100% become my main project because I'm a very selfish knitter. So to cure my cast on fever, I decided to cast on, or I'm going to cast on, a headscarf, like a bandana. Um, and I found a free pattern on Ravelry. Let me pull it up. It's free so anyone can do it. Um, it's called the Pernel Penelope, Penelope Kerchief. And it's by, oof, I'm gonna not say this right. Linnea Nyman, I'm so sorry if I definitely said that wrong. So yeah, it's really cute. I'll show a picture somewhere. It is on a child's head, but I see that it has sizes up to five. And in parentheses, like five years old, and it says adult size. So I, I don't know, I did see where some people just like repeated the pattern a few times because I believe, I think this is lace. It looks like lace. I think it's a lace pattern so you can just repeat it because it's a triangle and just make it bigger. So yeah, uh, you can't really see but I pulled out all this yarn because I was like, I don't need new yarn for this. Like I have plenty in my stash. It does call for DK, but I decided I could swing fingering, I think. It would make it like light and airy, especially since it's, um lace work which is so fun so yeah i think i've already decided though but i can show you what i pulled this is ultra pima pima not sure pima by cascade yarns i really like this i used this for my um secret summer secret crop i believe by jesse may last summer two summers ago and then i have some i believe this is we are knitters or Let's see. Yeah, we are knitters, the cotton in different colors. Is that for my timber top tee? Also have some more Pima cotton, Pi Pima, I don't know, by Lion Brand. And then I also pulled some fingering weight sock yarn because I have a ton of it. But I don't know if I want it this wooly in summer. And also have this Cascade Pima cotton as well. It's like in this really pretty blue color, which I usually don't go for. I usually just go for neutrals and tans and pinks and reds. And also have this from Hobby Lobby, which was, it's kind of, it's not, I don't know if this is hand dyed, but it kind of looks like hand dyed yarn. But I decided to officially go with this guy. And I showed this in my last only video because I used it for my outline tank. And it's a summer blend. And I'll put the indie yarn dyer up here because I cannot pronounce it. It's very airy. And it's dyed with avocado, so it's a super pale pink. I really wanted to find just white, but I didn't have any plain white in my stash. I had, well, I have this, but it's kind of thick. This is worsted, I think, and it calls for DK. But I'd rather it be lighter than, like, thicker. So my plan for this video, I'll probably be knitting throughout the week, and I'll show you all my progress. Um, hopefully it won't take me forever. <laughs> should, should only take me a few days. So yeah, I'm on lunch break right now, so I probably won't cast it on. I just picked out my yarn, but it was easy. It was way easier to pick it out than I thought. So yeah, I'll be using this. So maybe the next time I'll be actually casting it on. I'm back. Hours later, just got off work. I'm ready to cast on this project. Um, but first, I got some stuff in the mail. <laughs> My husband was like, are you gonna open it? I was like, oh wait <laughs> for this. Um, but I'm really excited about this. I've been pretty dang good about not buying yarn. I mean, I did buy the yarn for the Golden Oak tank a few days ago and yarn for baby sweaters. But before that, I was really good about not buying yarn. I got this um, from Savannah Rose, handmade. It looks so pretty. Wow, would you look at that? She dyes some really cool yarn. I'm pretty sure she loves, oh yeah, I was gonna say, she loves Halloween and <laughs> her logos are ghosts. This is called her Midsummer and I got it in, I got it in the sock base. So it's 75% superwash in a rule. <laughs> Let's try that again. 75% Super wash me. <laughs> Se Dear God. 75% super wash merino wool and 25% nylon. Super nice and squishy. It'll make the perfect socks. 
I will finish these socks. Yeah, it's so pretty. It was exactly what I was hoping for. It's all these pretty colors, literally all my favorite colors in one, one dang Hank. It's so pretty. So yeah, of course I had to support her. She's actually from, uh, her hometown is the town I used to live in, in Washington. Fun little fact. But yeah, you should definitely go check her out. She dyes some really cool yarn and she knits awesome stuff. So excited about that. Thank you, Savannah. Okay, let's start casting on. I mean, I guess I should look at my pet. I guess I should look at my pattern or the pattern. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Using four millimeter, four millimeter needles. That's what I have. US six. Cast on five stitches. That's easy. I can do that. I'm not sure if I like knit and chat for a bit because honestly, there's a lot of reading that goes into this pattern, a lot of increases. So I might just show you progress later. Probably don't even need to do that. See, I'm just gonna long tail this baby, long tail cast on. Don't need that many. And here we go. Humble beginnings. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how, how far I get in a few days. I might just knit up a little bit right now. Hi. It is a new day. It is morning time. I am tired. Um, but I thought I'd show you what I got done yesterday. So just to preface, it does look different. <laughs> it's blue. Um, so yeah, yesterday I was knitting with the pink and it was really rough to work up. Like it just felt rough. And I think with the lace, it just didn't look like lace to me. I mean, at the very bottom, it doesn't I don't think it ever looks like lace until you block it, but I just feel like it looked like a bunch of knots and I didn't love that. But then also I found a huge knot in my yarn ball and of course I just like got it out. But after that I got, I guess I was like stoked about getting the knot out because it seemed impossible. And I forgot there was a right side and a wrong side to like my work. <laughs> so I was knitting in the lace on the wrong side and I should have been purling and vice versa. So I just, I mean, I was only on row 10 and it was probably like this long, honestly. So I was like, you know what? It's fine. Just like rip it up, start over. But I decided to choose different yarn that would feel better. And this is DK. So this is, I don't know what happened to this uh, yarn ball. I mean, it is probably in a huge knot too. So this is Ultra Pima. I looked it up on Google and that's what Google told me how to pronounce it. I was saying Pima and Pima yesterday. Apparently it's Pima. So yeah, it's Cascade Yarns Ultra Pima DK. So yeah, this is what I got. It honestly took a lot of brain power just to like focus on the lace chart, especially on the wrong side, because you do the opposite kind of. And so I didn't knit on as much as I thought I would yesterday. Me and my husband were watching TV at the end of the day, and I just I couldn't deal with this <laughs> at this like at the same time. So I picked up the halibut sweater instead. But yeah, so I'm gonna knit on this this morning because no one's here, it's just me. And maybe listen or watch some podcasts. We'll see how it goes. Hi, I'm popping in for a quick update. It is um, same day, it's just after work. And I got a lot done, so I want to show you my progress. I did this all, I did all of this this morning. So I got a lot more done than I thought. Honestly, it was going super slow at the beginning, just because I just had to think about all the lace. But then after I got going, I kind of memorized the lace pattern, which happens, and it's gotten a lot easier, a lot quicker. So I think I might actually finish, like, the lace work today, maybe. But yeah, I'm excited. Woo, we're getting there. And I also <laughs> wanted to show you, because I totally, I just ripped open my package yesterday. I was so excited for the yarn. Whenever I opened up Savannah Rose Handmaid's Midsummer yarn that I got, 
I totally ripped past all the cute packaging she like put into it. So I wanted to show you because I found it yesterday in the you know the package. I was like, oh my god, I didn't even see this. So yeah, she included some teas. So nice. This one is Rose City something I can't pronounce. Full leaf green tea. Super yum. And then chocolate peppermint puree. So yeah, that's exciting. So cute. And then she also gave me some stickers with her little ghost logos on it. They're so cute. So yeah, I wholeheartedly encourage supporting indie yarn dyers because not only do they go through a lot of hard work to make their yarn amazing and unique, they also do a lot of cute like little details that they don't even have to do, they just do it. That's so sweet. Anyways, I wanted to show that. I didn't want to, I don't know, I didn't want to totally <laughs> ignore it because I literally found it after I opened the package up yesterday. So anyways, I will get back to knitting and I will update you probably tomorrow. Thursday. I was uh, overly ambitious. Tuesday, I was like certain I was gonna get the lace work done. It took me a couple more days, but I am done. It's so pretty. It's so big. I accidentally, which I think big is okay, especially since I have very poofy hair when it's down. It's very curly, but uh, the pattern I realized like five minutes ago, it said knit like increase until you do 89 for the age five adult size, age five plus adult size. In my mind, I thought it was 99. <laughs> so I have a slightly bigger one the pattern calls for, but honestly, I think it'll work out fine. I think it'll be fine. So yeah, now I'm just, I cast it on an eye cord. It's going pretty fast, but it looks like this. Just started it. So yeah, I think I'd do this for 20 centimeters, maybe, and then if, at first, when I looked at the pattern, I looked ahead at this part, and I didn't quite understand it. I mean, I know how to do an eye cord, but, like, attaching it to this thing, I didn't understand, because it has you, like, cut the yarn and leave it. Pretty sure it's okay I tell you this, because it's free, so you can do it. <laughs> you can download it and do it with me. Um, but yeah, so it has you cut the end and just leave it and then somehow you attach it onto here and go all the way around and then you'll end up with it like this and then you'll knit the last eye cord. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so I'm just knitting, I'm hoping. My goal is to have it done maybe tonight. Last time I was ambitious with how much I could actually do. But I'm thinking I could get this done tonight and block it tomorrow and maybe wear it Saturday. So yeah, we're just knitting along. Woo! have been contemplating my next cast-ons because <laughs> I just now that I'm back in the mojo I just want to cast everything on and especially since I got that new sock yarn I really want to cast on some socks I've been binging Lisa's knit club uh, her YouTube she's really cool she's like from Am not from Amsterdam I think she lives in Amsterdam but she knits and crochets a ton of stuff and I just watched one of her older podcasts I think and all of her finished objects were just complete pairs of socks. <laughs> I was like, wow, how, how do you, how do you knit more than one sock? <laughs> I don't know how to do that. So maybe that'll be my next goal is to knit, which I'm knitting the tiny socks. So I'll for sure get those done. But I really want to knit myself a pair, a pair, two complete socks. So I think that might be my next cast on, but I also... I might have changed my yarn plans already. <laughs> I bought some super, it's just silk. It's yellow, it's really pretty for the golden oak tank that I was set on making. But <laughs> I was reminded about all my pretty knitting for all of yarn I have. It's, I have some that's like cream merino and then some that's like Carhartt orange, ochre color, cotton merino. And I've always wanted to knit my favorite things knit where one of her camisoles, I don't remember which number it is, she has a million, 
but it's just like the basic ribbed one and I think I could do it like even while pregnant I think I could do that because I can make it cropped <laughs> my solution right now is to just make everything cropped <laughs> but I think it would look pretty with skirts and stuff I don't know I've been thinking about cast-ons even though I have too many projects going right now anyways that I need to finish so yeah we'll see what I cast on next but I'm getting getting the itch to cast something else on. I even found another one of, uh, not these patterns, but another headscarf to like stash bust some stuff. Uh, this one that I found isn't free though. It's paid. It's maybe like $3 on Ravelry. And it's super simple. I think it's simpler than this one. It's mostly just stockinette and then like a really pretty ed like edge. I think it might be eyelets, I don't know, but it just looks so simple and so pretty and I kind of want to cast on one of those <laughs> and I really kind of want to cast on another one of these, but I'm thinking stash busting some sock yarn and then pairing it with mohair because I think the fluff in the lace would look really nice. I don't know if I can wear that in summer though. I don't know. So yeah, lots of projects <laughs> in my head. <laughs> So yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep knitting on this bad boy. And maybe next time I see you, it'll be finished. Hi, <laughs> I'm back. It's Friday, it's the end of the week, almost the weekend, thank God. Um, but I have a fully working functional headscarf. I finished it this morning. As you can see, it's keeping my poofy hair back. It's the perfect size, even though I made it a tad bit bigger than I was supposed to. But it's the perfect stash busting project too. I mean, I made quite a dent, if you can tell. I don't know how much this is. I should have measured it, or not measured it, but I should have weighed it before to see like how much it actually took me. So yeah, I just finished it this morning before work. I did the this like edging. This is the only part of the, of the pattern that I cannot visualize in my head whenever I was looking at it. But it was really easy once I got going. It was really fun. So, yeah, final product. Really like it. Really excited about it. Would definitely need it again. Yeah, anyways, super fun. And it's also crazy the difference that vlogging makes with lace. It's nuts. I vlogged it before work this morning, and I just, like, dipped it in water, uh, put it on my mats, laid it out very nicely. But... Yeah, anyways, I might pop some footage in of me wearing it, but thanks for sticking around for this week of knitting. It was, it was a good one. <laughs>